In this episode, we're going to be focusing on folder structure. So as you can see so far, we're simply placing these files within our desktop. But in real life, you never do this. You have a dedicated folder for each one of your projects. So I'm gonna do that right now. On the Mac, I can go to File, New Folder, and we'll give this a name of Project to keep it generic. Now here is where we're going to store all of our assets. Now this is fine for a simple project, but really you want to divide your style sheets, your images, you don't want to place all of your images, all your style sheets within the root of your directory. Instead, it makes sense to create subfolders. So for example, we'll create one for our images. You'll often see this as images or IMG for images. Next, we're going to create another one for our style sheets. Now, some people call it style sheets. I find that's a little much to type, so we'll keep it to CSS. So now, with this structure, we store all style sheets within the CSS directory and any potential images within the images directory. Another common one, and we haven't gone over this yet, but it's called JavaScript. And these are scripts that can be used to affect what we call the client side. That means what you see, how things interact, how things move. So we would create a folder called JS or JavaScripts and you would store your .js files within here. Don't worry though, we won't get to that just yet. And now we have a very clean project structure. So what you may wanna do for the beginning is to copy this and save it as maybe a backup folder or you could call it template. And then whenever you create a new project, you immediately have a base structure to begin with.